Welcome to the Ferndown Upper School virtual tour. Now I don't have a shiny new block or building to show you, but to be honest, it's not buildings that make a school. It's the students and the teachers and the culture that makes a school. And that's what you're gonna see on this virtual tour. That's what makes Ferndown Upper School unique. So what do we believe at Ferndown? I believe in educating the whole child. It's not just about academic success, but yes, it is about academic success, but it's also about developing into a future leader, about being a young adult, about enjoying lessons, about being engaged, about enrichment. It's the whole package, and that's what you get at Ferndown. So, we are going to involve you. Year 12, to be honest, are just year 11, but not in uniform. They still need to be supported, and we do that. Quite often at our sixth form colleges, they're given a lot of independence, and while we do allow that, we also try and develop your child and support your child on that journey they're going on. Now we know teenagers can sometimes not be very forthcoming with information and you still want to be involved with your child's education. So we are going to give you the information you need to support them. Whether they then talk to you is down to you, but we'll give you the information to actually have those conversations. So broad and balanced, we believe that a sixth form should cater fully for all of the needs of its students. So we have a sixth form that has over 30 level three courses. So that definitely means whatever your child's preference or excellence, uh, they will be able to find it here at Foundown Upper School. We have over 300 students and that size allows us to offer the courses I've just mentioned, but it also allows us to be personal and to know your child well. So what can you expect? We are an international sixth form. We think this cultural input from Europe is invaluable in developing a worldview for our students. It helps them to see wider than Dorset. And we have a number of overseas students who join our sixth form every year between 20 and 30. And this input really helps to develop that view that we're trying to develop. We're also known for our creative arts provision and even have a foundation art course in year 14. Normally universities provide foundation art courses, but the quality of art in this school is so high, we can provide this course here. We do it in-house and actually our outcomes are better than Bournemouth University. So you get a really good deal studying the arts here. You also get a good deal if you are a textiles or a product design student. And for the last two years, our students in those subjects have uh, produced work of such high quality, they have been given the Cobain Shield, that's a Dorset prize for the best product design arts work in the whole of Dorset. It used to be won by Thomas Hardy, but we've wrestled it from them in the last couple of years. And that's down to our students just producing really high quality work. We're also a STEAM school. I know you've heard of the term STEM, but we're a STEAM school because we are STEM, but we also focus on the arts. So we cover most bases. So we've really focused on science and on maths excellence in the last few years, and we've now added that to our existing reputation for arts excellence. We encourage our students to make a real difference. We realise that sixth form is not just about grades, it's also about making memories. And we try and develop some really long lasting memories for our students. We also like them to make a difference to society and to contribute back to the community. So as you'll see, our students have been involved with a number of activities that have made a difference, that have given back. There's the Macmillan fundraising that raised £830 that our students just ran themselves. It was their choice and they organised the whole thing and contributed that money back. They also were involved with going down to uh, the middle schools and going out to the middle schools and supporting the students there with development of their skills in their subjects. So this is our sixth formers going out to Ferndown Middle and helping them with English. We've also conducted two big sleeps now and that's when our students sleep rough and raise funding by sleeping rough to make money for the homeless of the local area for Bournemouth YMCA. And as you can see, over £9,000 in those two events has been raised for those homeless people. Our students are also actively involved in our school council. Our school council is when our students have the opportunity to give feedback to us as leaders of the school on what needs to change and what could be adapted. And we really like to listen to them because their ideas are always sound and always good and help to drive the school forward. And our sixth form lead the school council. So they lead the council that gives us the feedback that lets us make Ferndown an even better school. Our sixth form also have the chance to bid for scholarships and bursaries from the John Thornton Young Achievers Foundation. We are one of the main benefactors of the charity because John Thornton actually came to Ferndown Upper School and our students therefore can make those bids for those opportunities that they couldn't otherwise afford, but that would be life-changing for them. 
So where do our students go? As you can see from the graphic, it's very varied. We don't focus on any one single destination because we know that our students have multiple destinations when they leave us. So we actually cater for all of them. So we look after our students who are intending to go to university, but we also look after those who are going into an apprenticeship or employment. And the nice news is that 100% of every year 13 goes to one of those destinations. Even those that are taking a gap year, they still have a job lined up for that gap year, and then they have a firm deferred place at university to go to. So 100% of our sixth form, our year 13, have a destination. They have a future outcome. And you can see those that do go to university, that is also very varied. You would expect that from a school that excels in so many different subject areas, but we feed a lot of different subject areas at university. You can see arts just leads the way slightly, but it's very varied in terms of the disciplines our students choose to follow through with. So how do they get there? Well, our A-level, as you can see, has some very strong highlights. We're rated outstanding by ALPS. That's an independent organisation that judges schools. And not just is our sixth form graded as outstanding, but there are also certain key subjects that are also graded as outstanding. So in maths and further maths, in the sciences, in sociology, in a variety of subjects, Alps has said our students are in the top percentiles when compared to other students in the country. You can see we have a 99% pass rate. We have over a third of our students getting the highest of grades. You can see our vocational courses are in the top percentile. And as I've already said, everyone has a destination when they leave us. And as you can see, last year, our overall sixth form was in the top 10%. The three-year trend is in the top 15%, so this achievement is consistent. And as I have said, there are even certain subjects that are in the top percentile, like our vocational, like maths, like sociology, like fine art, like the subjects I mentioned. So how do our outcomes compare? Well, it's a very favourable comparison. You can look for yourself on the government league tables, but I have done that and our students achieve very highly here. Whether it be grammar school, whether it be sixth form college over in Hampshire, whether it be another local school, you cannot choose a better school for outcomes than Ferndown Upper School. Our students year in, year out are at the top of the table for outcomes and that's down to their hard work and yes, the support that they get from their teachers and the environment that we create with our sixth form. So hopefully that has given you a good flavour of what we're about here at Ferndown Upper School. And now I hope you enjoy looking at the subject pages to gather as much information as possible to make the best choice possible. And I look forward to welcoming you into Year 12 next year here at Ferndown Upper School. Thank you for listening.